Yeah, quick video today. Uh, get this camera right, man. I need to get some kind of tripod for this camera or something. Anyway, uh, let's do a sharp video. I got to the freaking grocery store, man. I hate going there. People like all mask up and jumping out of the way. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Prices are ridiculous. That's what's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, so I was playing around this morning uh, with the NFT thing just to see how hard it was or easy it was or whatever. And uh, it really uh, was a lot easier than I thought. And uh, anyway, let's take a look. Basically using this thing called MetaMask. You gotta create a wallet. It, uh, you go to MetaMask and you can download a uh, wall, uh, extension for your browser. Since I'm using Brave Browser, so I got an extension for Brave Browser. It installed it, no problem. Put in a password, then you get uh, seed keys. Like, if you use Bitcoin or you're familiar with Bitcoin, you got seed keys and uh, you there's like 26 or something, I think, for like Coinbase or something. Uh, this wallet, there's like 15 or 16, so don't keep them on your computer. Be sure you just write them on a piece of paper, stick them in a safe somewhere. You know, you don't want a hard copy floating around. You know, it's just like any other seed keys. Keep a copy of your, for yourself somewhere that's secure and put one in a safety deposit box or give it to a family member that you can trust to hold it. And that's it. That I created the wallet. You can either buy Ethereum or you can uh, transfer Ethereum over there. I just went to Coinbase and transferred a very small amount just to see if it worked. It was there instantaneously. Boom. And uh, so, once you get your wallet set up, because you have to pay gas fees, which on Ethereum is really high right now here. I don't know. I haven't actually utilized the Ethereum to see what kind of fees are going to be. But... And then I was looking for, where do you go to create NFT? Uh, OpenSea is listed as number one. I don't know. There's some videos out there that are kind of old. The one I was watching, the guy said, use a PNG file if possible. Uh, or you can use a JPG. And also, what is good, and what I'll probably do is, you know, I have a domain and domain servers. And you can send the person that buys it the file and if it's not a good enough quality or you want better quality you can just store it out like you would on your web page you just upload the the file to your web server or if you run a server at home i used to i don't anymore you can store it there that way they can access the file and uh because it doesn't store it on the blockchain it stores ownership on the blockchain so there's a record of ownership but the actual file is not stored on the blockchain from what i understand so I'm going to try it. Uh, it looks really easy. Like they got this little drag and drop pane. So I'll just take a some graphic I created years ago. Probably tweak it up. Make it look really cool. And then drag and drop it here. And uh, see what happens. I'll have to go in here and look and see what kind of NFTs they're selling. See what kind of prices they're getting. You know, what people are buying. Because you don't want to put something out there that like nobody's going to like give a crap. <laughs> you know, right? And uh so I'm going to do that. Uh, we'll see what happens. And then uh, I'll keep you updated on how it goes. And hey, see, if, you know, if I can make some money every month from doing NFTs, I mean, enough just to pay some bills, shoot, I'm happy. Anyway, earlier today when I was on my phone, yeah, this is it, actually. Okay, this is dollar cost averaging. Uh, I know George talks about it a lot. A lot of the other YouTubers are, you know, starting to talk more about it. And, yeah. So, what I was doing this morning is I was saying, okay, what if you had bought Bitcoin dollar cost averaging, DCA, every, for the last five years for $100 a week? So, because there, there's a friend of mine that was online and was talking about uh, how... They're, you know, trying to mandate things and they're going to eventually tie it to a digital currency. So without 
the stuff they mandate, if it's not show up on your digital currency once they create it, which is going to take them a while. We'll, we should all be rich by then before that happens. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, the only safe haven is Bitcoin. That's it. So that's why we protect it. And that's why we fight for it, because it is freedom. It's the only hope for freedom. Um, anyway, so back to this. So, $100, say, I'm going to do $100 a week. Yeah, why not? Every paycheck, every Friday, doesn't matter what the price of Bitcoin is. You don't even look at the price of Bitcoin. You just buy $100. Set up a recurring buy. You won't even see it. Say, so it comes out of your check just like you're paying a bill. It's $100. It goes in, it goes in. It doesn't matter what the price of Bitcoin. It doesn't matter if it's $64,000. doesn't matter if it's $20,000. It's dollar cost averaging. It always seems to work with Bitcoin. If I would have used that from day one in 2017 and not like sold when it went high and, you know, kept cashing in here and there, doing this and that, I'd have so, I'd have so many Bitcoins right now, it'd be crazy. But, you know, hey, I was the test guinea pig or one of them, so uh, it'll be fine. So, accumulate for five years. $100 on a weekly basis starting five years ago. Compare other assets, no. Yeah. So, five years ago, if you would start putting $100 every Friday into Bitcoin, you would have invested $26,100. If you had not sold any of it, you just bought and held it, the current value would be $370,000. Well, $370.5 thousand dollars. Or 740 million Satoshis. Satoshis is how you break it down to infinitum. I mean, Bitcoin can be breaking down, broken down into increments of Satoshis too. So it's just infinite. I mean, there's no... There's no... It's infinite as far as breaking it down. So your percentage gain over that last five-year five-year period was 1,319.41%. So does your other investments or your 401k or your real estate or anything or your gold and silver make you 1,300% in the last five years? No, I'd probably say if you were lucky, if you bought the S&P 500, or something you might have made 20 28 percent a year 25 percent a year so yeah if you did good on your investments you made 20 25 percent a year but here it's only 30x times that or something like that crazy amount and anyway here's the chart so going back to 2017 so that's actually about what I bought in was right here yeah Right around 3,800. So, February 2017. So, five years ago was August 2016, actually. So, anyway, you see how it runs up from, uh, you know, just crazy. Your, at one point, your value on paper was almost a half a million dollars. When it went up to 64,000, yeah, you're, you could have sold... From this 26000 around here, you could have sold, well, you could have made that back by selling hardly none of it, just like a 1% of it. And uh, here, so at one point, it was almost worth a half a million dollars. So you could have sold $100,000 worth it, $200,000, still had $300,000 left. And then today, it's worth three seventy four sixty five. So if you would have sold 100000 you still have a quarter of a million dollars left, plus the hundred grand you took out and put in your bought you a car or whatever you did so anyway that's just a few things i'm looking at today you know when bitcoin gets like really boring like it's been um there's not a lot to do so you know and, hey if a 12 year old kid can make four hundred thousand dollars on the nft surely i can make a thousand dollars on one so hey you know make enough to pay you know some certain bills i mean that's fabulous so, yeah, Bitcoin's just ranging, same range, 47, 49, back and forth, back and forth, same old thing. 
<laughs> anyway, I'll maybe do one later. If something else is going on, I'll keep you updated on the NFT thing. And, uh, yeah, got to do something for fun. Ghost Rose.